Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we, we are going to make a different video. Uh, today we, we will spend the day mostly uh, cleaning and checking some, some of my grandfather tools. Uh, we are also going to clean a little bit of the shop uh, because this was uh, my grandfather shop and uh, he used to work here but uh, lately uh, it has become a little bit dirty so we need to clean uh, clean the shop but also these tools because uh, as you can see this is a bench grinder uh, here uh, is a normal grinding stone but in the other side we have a water stone and uh, the only problem with this one is that it's very dirty now so uh, I want to clean a bit and uh, also check if the water tank uh, is uh, useful or it is broken because I don't know I never use it so let's uh, let's start the, the cleaning process Now the bench grinder is pretty much done, uh, it's 80% uh, clean, so it, it's clean on the outside but uh, as you can see there are parts where the, the old paint is not there, but uh, for, for today's video this is okay because I need to use it, so now we, we will uh, make some tests. Uh, and just to see how the grinding wheels uh, uh, perform and also to see the difference between uh, the normal uh, stone and the water stone and uh, but before the the test let's see some amazing shots of the bench grinder
as you saw in, in the previous shots, uh, the bench grinder works. Um, now we will make some tests uh, to see how they perform. Maybe we will skip uh, the test in this uh, normal uh, stone because as we saw earlier uh, it works and uh, maybe uh, it doesn't have a very square edge uh, but uh, for the use that uh, this is going to have is is perfect is is fine uh, because we have another uh, bench grinder uh, this is just uh, th th this is just the one with uh, a water uh, a water stone so uh, i think we will only do the the test in the water stone and uh, let's see how how it does so here we are with our water stone and uh, i just want to to mention the the differences between a water stone and a normal uh, stone in the bench grinder and uh, the first difference is the speed uh, this blade uh, goes uh, lower in speed than uh, a normal uh, stone in the bench grinder that's why uh, it has a separate uh, gear a box that reduces the speed uh, of the rotation uh, that uh, is very important in the sharpening process because uh, the lower speed prevents uh, overheating the the blade during the grinding and uh, also the water uh, helps uh, with the lubrification of the stone but also uh, it acts uh, as a coolant for the blade uh, also to reduce the overheating uh, in the tip uh, of the chisel during the sharpening so uh, it's fantastic it's uh, for me it's very it's very good it's fantastic to have uh, this tool uh, even if it's not uh, in very good shape uh, before we use it we 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 can already see that the stone is very dirty so maybe uh, it will not grind uh, as fast as uh, as we as we want but i also can see that it's not very straight uh, this is something that uh, we can change uh, we can correct uh, in the future but now let's start uh, the the test I will use this, uh, this is a, a chisel that uh, my grandfather have, it's very beating up, but let's see how it performs. I have to say that uh, it grinds uh, uh, pretty good. Uh, it's not perfect, but also this blade was uh, a disaster. It has. Uh, it's not perfect, but I really don't care to make this chisel perfect. It's just for the test because this chisel. Uh, my grandfather used to as a lever not as a <laughs> as a chisel so but for the test we can see that uh, it works it grinds maybe in the future uh, i will like to make some some jig to use in this uh, waterstone like the something similar to the tormek jig that uh, it helps you keep the the 
right angle uh, so the grinding is is perfect uh, but for today's video this is this is good because we have seen that uh, although the the stone is not perfect it, it does it, its uh, job so let's continue cleaning the shop So guys, uh, the windows are all clean and now to finish the video I wanted to put this guard, this blade guard in my angle grinder. So let's do it. So guys, I hope you liked the video and let me know in the comments uh, what you think of this kind of video. Let me also know if you have any suggestion for another video, a future video. And uh, I hope you liked the, this kind of video like, uh, like a vlog that uh, we see what we do in the shop, uh, cleaning, uh, organizing, uh, uh, check the tools uh, that we have, uh, putting some safety in them and also I hope you liked the this uh, to see this uh, interesting uh, bench grinder with uh, a water wheel. For me, I hope I think it's a uh, an interesting tool, and it's also very useful. And uh, let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, uh, for me, your opinion is very important. And uh, if you're not subscribed, please help us with the channel. Uh, for me, it means a lot. Uh, I, I I really enjoy doing this thing for you. And uh, see you in the next video. Bye.